Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Gaia, a Fire Red ROM hack. In the last episode, we defeated the f first gym leader, Fernando, and then we had to chase him into the forest and rescue him from the forest because he was an idiot, and we ended up with the first gym badge, which just looks like a circle. And you'll notice that some things are going to be different, um, so let me just briefly explain. When I found that Skiddo, after all the time that I put into finding it, I didn't want to miss my chance with it, so I created a save state, and then I filmed the last episode, and then I had to stop because I had some errands to run, and I come back, and I load the game, and instead of loading from where I saved it, like actually saved it in the game after everything we did in the last episode, it somehow loaded it from right at the beginning of that Skiddo encounter, and I can't figure out where my actual saved game is. And I know that I really saved the game. So I had to do all of that stuff that we did in the last episode again, and that's actually the third time I had to do it, because the first time the computer crashed about ten minutes into the recording. So. Everyone is at this is at is at about the same level as they were when the last episode stopped. I still have Caesar, Dwayne, and Chimmy. Chimmy has learned Chimmy learned his his uh, fury swipes just like last time, and Dwayne learned his um, his rock throw like last time. And Caesar's 15, so we're putting him up front, and his moves are the same. The only thing that's going to be different is that I have more Pokemon this time, so I'll just show you what I caught. So, I caught a Roggenrola, I caught a Drillbur, and I caught a Zubat, and I caught a Duskull, who I have named Tommy, because I think it might be cool to use a Ghost-type Pokemon later. We're not going to use him now. Uh, and the Tommy is because it's Phantom, so Tom, Tommy, Phantommy, Phantom, Tommy. So yeah, um, because in this game, you don't need a Reaper Cloth and Trade Evolution to get a Duskmore, and Duskmore is really awesome. So that would be pretty cool if I could screw around with that. And I also got a Ghastly. Um, but I think what we're going to need is someone who can be our HM Slay, because I don't want to have to use HMs on any of my main party members unless I can help it, because Chimmy, I've used Chimchar before, and unless his Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire learn set is different, the only real fighting move he learns is Mach Punch, and then eventually he'll try and learn close combat, and I don't even know if I want close combat, because it's not that great of a fighting move. And so, if I give him Rock Smash, then he's stuck with two fighting moves that both do the same amount of damage. So let's see here. Well, first of all, we don't actually have Rock Smash yet, but, for starters, let's just use this Nidoran as our slave. Because there was some stuff in the forest that we couldn't get to because we didn't have cut and then we were also supposed to go and find the second entrance to this cave over here which I did at the last episode it's right here but we're, we're not gonna go there yet first we're gonna go into the forest and we'll use cut and see if we can find anything cool and then we'll come back and open that entrance up So, really, the first patch of grass? Seriously? It's okay, if I sound a little frustrated, it's just because I've literally had to do this three times. Not this part, but the last part. A Shroomish. I love Shroomish. Except it's more of a fighting type than a real grass type, so... Oh. Wait, does this one have Poison Heal instead of Sap Zipper? What does it say Poison Heal for? If it's Sap Sipper, then it should have Sap Sipper. Like, this is the same Skiddo that we've had. Caesar is Caesar, because it's... Every time I've had to catch it, it's been the same one, because I was loading from that previous save state, which I have since deleted, so we should not have any more issues like this. Okay, so let's cut these down and see what's over here. Ah! 
Random battles. Ah. A Burmy? No, I don't want a Burmy. Caesar, tackle. Go. Seriously, you're gonna try and hide behind a shield? Oy vey. Well, tackle. Come on. What are the chances of that working twice in a row, really? Seriously? Three times in a row. Okay. Four times. Okay, is that really its only move? Is that all it knows is protect? Wow, that was annoying. And I only got 38 experience for it. But it's over this way. A super potion. That's it? That's all that was? Okay, well then what about up here? Is there anything over this way? Nope, don't want a pump kaboo. See ya. God, come on! What is with the encounters? Okay, why don't you use Razor Leaf on the Gas Leaf? I figured as much it was gonna be a crit, because I, I remember too late that Gas Leaf is also a poison type. Okay, cut this down, and we'll go all the way over here, and then we'll see what this TM is. This will actually be our first TM, because Fernando didn't actually give us one. Um, I guess we'll just use Chimmy on this. Really? Oh boy. Okay, Chimmy. Just relax, and use Ember. Just relax, and use Ember. Thank you. Okay. Channeler? Are so concerned with ghost types. I'm not scared of them. I'm friends with them. What? Why is there just a random channeler standing there? Well, that sucks. I don't think I can hit that thing, so Chimmy has to come out again. Ember. Murkrow! Um, yes, I will use Dwayne against... The Murkrow! Because... Merk... Because... Because Dwayne's... Bleh. Yes, I will use Dwayne against the... Murkrow! Murkrow! That was a lot of experience. Shuppet? Um... Yes. I think... Caesar can do that one with Razor Leaf. Or Vine Whip. Because apparently, even though you can't tackle a ghost, or punch a ghost, you can still peck a ghost, and you can still bite a ghost, and you can still throw leaves that are razored at ghosts. I mean, what they should really do is make it so that ghost types cannot be affected by physical moves at all, although that would make them really overpowered. But that's what would make sense. Taunt? Are you freaking kidding me? I came all this way for taunt? Oh my lord. I am so mad right now. The first TM I find, and it's freaking taunt. Why is there even a TM for taunt? How am I supposed to teach my Pokémon any decent moves if the TMs I'm finding are things like Taunt? This is not looking good. Hopefully that's the only one that's like that. Hopefully I'll find something actually useful soon. Okay. 
Well, that was a useless detour that didn't amount to anything, so let's go this way. And we will head to the Pokemon Center. Heal everybody up. And then we'll use Cut on that second entrance and see what's inside. Can't believe nobody in this entire village has ever figured out that there's an entrance right here. It's not even well hidden. Oh, I thought that was Redwood's house for a second. I'm like, no, Redwood's house is down that way. But I was like, no, he's not, I don't even know if he lives in this town, actually. I think it was the other place. No, it wasn't this one. This is where, this is where Booger lives. I was like, since when does he have a Chansey? Just sitting there. Slash! How did you know I did this? Have you been stalking me? That looks like the exit we were looking for! Yeah, it really looked like you were doing a lot of looking by just sitting there in the Pokemon Center for the last two episodes. Whoa, this place is insane! How have I never found this before? This tablet is fascinating. It looks a lot like the one in Arkantown, doesn't it? Well, except the one in Arkantown was of a different Pokemon, but yeah. These glyphs at the base. What glyphs? There are no glyphs at the bottom. I can cl I'm looking right at it, and there is not a single glyph. It is just a picture of a Tangrowth, and then there's a, there's a yellow rim around it. They seem familiar. I remember now. An old friend of mine used to study this language. His name is Herschel. He's a Pokemon trainer, too. If we're going to translate this tablet, we'll need him. Last I heard, he was headed to Aero City to curate its museum. The two of you should go and find him. Alright, Slash. I'll race you to Aero City. No fair, you got a head start. Man, I guess it's this way. Now we can finally go. We're finally free! This, what does a stump do? Oh, another super potion. Stumps are still my friends. Hello. Isn't it beautiful? The view looks nice too. The view is beautiful. It's a shame about him. Ooh, that was mean. What's in this grass? Can we find anything cool? Damn it. Dang it, Caesar, I wanted that one. A Shinx? I don't really need one if I've got a grass type and a rock type. Okay, so Caesar gets level 16. We'll leave him in for a little bit. Come on, give me another Starly. That's not a Starly. That Snubble doesn't even have Intimidate. I don't... That's not useful. Oh. Another Shinx. I don't need one. But if I can get that Starly, that'd be great been waiting for this moment. There will be one in my party if it's the last thing I do. Even if I have to start the entire process that I did for this Skiddo over again. Because Caesar is amazing, and I have a feeling that Starly will be just as helpful. If I can catch one. Ooh, a Blitzel! That looks rare. I want to see if I can catch it. It's fast, too. Dang it! Caesar, seriously? <laughs> Come on, Starly! Give me a Starly! 
That's not a Starly! Rats! Why is this so hard? I found one on my first try. And now it's not happening anymore. Why are all the ones that I want rare? Oh! Another Skiddo! So they also appear here. Well, I don't need them one of those, obviously. Because I've got Caesar and he's wonderful. No, I don't need a Skiddo! I've got one now! Come on, Starly! Why is it that every time I find something I want, when I try and find it, it stops appearing? A Litleo! Wow! There's all kinds of stuff here! I don't need a fire type, I don't want a snubble. Seriously, where are the Starlies all of a sudden? That is the one national bird that I've never used, and I want one. And I'm not gonna stop till I find it! Starly! Why is this so hard? Every single time I find something that I want. Come on, Starly! Ah! Snubball! Snub! Snubball! Maybe Caesar's bringing me bad luck. Maybe him in the front is not helping. Let's switch to... Yeah, let's bring out Chimmy. Come on, Starly! Yes! Okay, good. Now, don't you dare kill it. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh no! Gah! <laughs> Chimmy! <laughs> you can't just do that, not after how hard it is to find one. God. Oh, thank goodness. This one's even stronger. Okay, I'm just gonna try throwing a ball because I don't want it to die. Okay, got it. They flock in great numbers. Their small wings are flat with great power in spite of their size. Okay. Now, let's name it... Because... I think... Because it's a bird, and it's a girl... Um... How about we name it after... Let's give it... let's call it Robin. There's a lot of different ways you can go with that. It could be, like, Robin after the bird. It could be Robin from How I Met Your Mother. And it's a gender-neutral name, too, because that can be a boy's name or a girl's name. Okay, so let's go back, and we'll see... We'll take a look at Robin, and see what she's got going for her in the stats department. And then I will have to grind her up, but there's that forest just just a little ways away, so we can I'll go there and I can grind her up. Rash nature. Brave, naughty, bold, bashful. Keen eye, loss of accuracy, that's good. Attack and def and speed are good. Seems pretty solid. And it already knows wing attack? That's awesome! Wing attack is like one of the best flying moves out there. Other than, unless you count acrobatics and aerial ace. Okay, so, I guess we will move you, oops. Switch you there. 
and we'll put you over there. Now we'll go to the box, and we'll do this, and give her our marking. Okay. But now I have to go grind, so let's let's speed this up so that you don't have to endure the grinding process. Okay, so I've leveled up Robin and she's now 13. Uh, almost at almost 14 and I think she evolves at 14. So let's just do one more battle just in case I'm right. It doesn't really matter. She can pretty much kill everything in this area in just one wing attack. It's awesome. I haven't had to go back at all because she's faster than everything. Okay, so I think that'll give her enough. I th she might evolve now. It might not be now. Okay, it is 14. Yay! <laughs> Robin's already evolving! <laughs> we just got her. Yay, Robin is a Staravia! I have to level her up a little bit more still, though. So this part I'll include, but just not the part leading up to this. See, she can pretty much just one-shot everything. Robin's so powerful. I was not expecting her to be this awesome. How have I never tried a Starly before? They're so strong. And they learn wing attacks so early. Even earlier than, than Taylor, which is which is actually my cur which was my my favorite bird type until until Robin came into my life. Maybe I will speed this up. I'm actually running out of wing attacks, though. That's not good. I've only got 12 left. Hopefully that's enough. Because it only takes one to get her up, so... No, it's not going to be enough. Well, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, everybody else is 16, so we can stop now. Okay, so let's head back to the Pokemon Center, and now we will use our new Starly. Actually, she's a Staravia now. So we'll go back to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll head out past the Eris Village and see what else there is. Trainers here? Yeah, there's this dude. I love the fresh air out here. It makes me want to battle. I'll bet you would have said that even if it was raining. You just like to battle in general. Admit it, kid. You're an addict. Uh-oh. That could be a bad thing. That's a pretty strong Shinx. Intimidate. And now it'll intimidate us. Nope. Doesn't have intimidate. Okay, well, let's try a wing attack and see. Okay, two wing attacks, then it'll go down. It's not very effective, but it still did the job. <laughs> Growlithe, okay. No, I will not change. Why would that be intimidating? It's a cute little puppy! I can understand Arcanine being intimidating. Oh, it resisted it. Okay, then quick attack it. Uh, 
I'm fresh out of luck. And you're also fresh out of Pokemon. Do I, can I battle her? How do I get there? Can I go down here? Is that a hidden grotto? I think that's a hidden grotto. A Shinx. I don't need a Shinx. <laughs> intimidation versus intimidation. No, I don't want to deal with that. Hey there, can we maybe have a Pokemon battle, please? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Why is with all the electric types in this area? It's okay, Robin, I still think you can do it. That one has static, though, so I'm not too sure about how this is going to work. I do have paralyzed heals if I need them, though. Thundershock should be okay. Mm, that's not great. R wing attack. She's only got one Pokemon, so... Ah, almost leveled. Okay, well... She... Actually got a, two potions. I can just use one, and that'll be good. Is this a hidden grotto? It is. What is in here? A venonat? That's it? That's all I can... That, that, that's my hidden grotto. Is a freaking venonat? It's pretty strong. Um... Quick attack. Okay, we should be good for one more. No matter what, Robin will level up after this battle. Oh, come on! Oh well. I didn't really want it anyway. Okay, so... Who is the next closest to leveling up? Definitely Chimmy. Let's head back to town, and I will use the Pokemon Center. I think this is actually a good place to stop. See, I'm going to make sure to save three times because I don't want to have to do this episode again, too. Or the last episode, because then that would make it four times. Okay, you saw it here. I've saved three times. <laughs> We have definitely not been playing for 5 hours and 26 minutes. That's because when you speed up the emulator, it also speeds up the time. So, yeah. We're literally speeding up time to make the emulator go faster. So anyway, folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you're not too disappointed or upset or bothered by the fact that this episode is a second take. Because it had, it kind of had to be. I had no other way around it. But I hope that doesn't happen again. And I hope to see you in the very near future where we will continue to play more of this game. And until next time, peace out. And as always, game on. See ya!